Accuracy is when facts are true to the story. Accuracy is important to the audience as it is able to provide them with the correct information and it makes the presenter seem as a reliable source. And also the presenter during the documentary, it will show graphs or statistics to back up the presenter's point to make it more reliable and a reliable source. This here is a good example of accuracy being used as the documentary shows archive footage of events that took place on 9-11 and also there is a combination of different news reports which is able to show the audience what is happening from different perspectives and also shows the audience that this, is, that this attack on the Twin Towers was real. Also through this, the news reports provide the audience information on what is happening now and keeps them updated with the situation which makes them a reliable and trustworthy source. Balance is when both sides of story or argument are shown throughout the documentary. Balance is important as it allows the audience to see both sides of the story and is able to let them decide which side they are on by it showing the correct facts equally on both sides and also it will present the presenter as being unbiased on the situation. This documentary here is about digital filming and throughout the documentary it includes people who have worked with digital filming for, for a long period of time and for this we are able to get both sides of the story. As some people explain the positive side to digital filming while others talk about more negative or the complicated side to it. This here is a good example of balance, as the audience are able to hear about how good and bad digital film is. Well, if they just focus on the good side of it, it would make it come across that it has no faults and it's, and it, and it is the best thing, While, which is coming across as misleading to the audience and not trustworthy. Impartiality is showing both sides of the story are not favouring one. Through this, the audience is allowed to see both views but are not influenced by the presenter's opinion and it lets the audience decide for themselves what they think is true or whose side they are on etc depending on the story. It gives them their own sense of mind when it comes to deciding whose side they are on as they are given facts equally and both and the footage for both sides of the story are shown equally and that the audience are able to get a good impression of both sides. This here is a bad example of impartiality as they only show the victim side of the story and only use graphics of ways people are being treated with an institution to explain their points, which could be presented as not telling the truth to the audience as there is no actual footage of these events. Also, they don't have the interviews with the people who are working at the Institute, which presents this as being biased as it can give the wrong f impression and falsehood of men mental institutions. Objectivity and subjectivity. Objectivity is when it's based on facts and no opinions are involved, as the opinions can affect the presenter's judgement on the situation. And while with subjectivity, it's based on opinion and not facts. This example here has both objectivity and subjectivity. The reason why this video is objective is because the presenter provides factual information for the audience about the cameras, such as the cost and type of lens it has, and also throughout the clip, the presenter tests out three different cameras and bases it on facts when it comes to what camera is the best out of the three. The reason why this video is subjective is because the person taking the photos is a professional and adds his opinion on the feeling of the camera and what makes it such a good camera and this can be seen as a good thing, as he gives his opinion on all three of the cameras, and can be, and which can be seen as reliable. As he has worked with cameras for many years, so he knows what he is talking about, and also gives the audience a bit more detail into what, cam and what the camera's material and how easy it's, it, it is to use. For, for, so through this clip here, the audience are able to receive a lot of information on the cameras from different perspectives. perspectives but this video, but if this video is only based on opinion, it wouldn't come across as trustworthy, so the facts provided by the presenter is able to back up the opinion. Opinion is when the presenter's personal view on a topic is exposed. Opinions provided by the presenter can influence the audience as, as, they, as it makes them side of their opinion more, as it's more in-depth detail about it. While this could be bad for the audience as they're not getting the other side of the story but solely the, the presenter's opinion on it. Imagine going to bed tonight and having to lock your bedroom door out of fear. Fear that you might be attacked in your sleep by your own child. Straight away in this news report, the presenter is saying her own opinion on schizophrenia and making it come across as frightening and frightening and terrifying thing. By using this at the beginning of the news report, it will make the audience be drawn into her opinion as they have not been provided with any footage beforehand. So when the clips are shown, people, are people who are living with schizophrenia, to the audience they will, seem, they will be seen as scary and unhuman because it will be based on what the presenter says at, and gives a false impression of what schizophrenia really is. This here is a good example of opinion as opinions of the presenter can have a, can have a persuasive effect on the audience and make them agree with what they're saying even, even if it is wrong. 
Bias is when you prefer one point over another, and this could be shown for documentaries as the presenter can be showing favoritism towards one side of the story rather than the other. The impact that this has on the audience is that they're not being given both sides of the story and both facts are not shared out equally. And also the, the presenter's opinion can have a massive influence on the audience. This here is a good example of bias, as throughout the documentary it focuses on interviews with people and their opinions on Walmart, which is all one-sided. Also, for the documentary, also throughout this documentary, the shots that they include present Walmart as destroying other companies, as they include footage of shutdown shops and blaming Walmart on why people are out of business. To the audience, Walmart is being shown as being the bad guys, as they are presenters are taking away everyone's jobs and provide, and they all, and the documentary also provides interviews with previous workers, but only keeping in the negative opinions of what they say about Walmart. This will come across as believable to the audience as they are not given the other side of the story, such as interviews with current workers. Representation is how the facts are portrayed to, portrayed to the audience. It is also able to show the two sides of the story, such as the good guys and the bad guys. Through this, the documentary is able to persuade the audience through the presenter's opinion, and by this they are able to show what they really think and whose side they are really on. They are also able to show this through the footage that they focus on throughout the documentary, as if they focus solely on people attacking another person, it will represent that group of people as the bad bad guys, while not focusing on the other guys, which also gives the audience doesn't give the audience both sides of the story, which is unfair, and can make them also be sided with the presenter's opinion towards that situation. This here is a good example of representation, as it only focuses on the rioters and not any one else, such as the police officers or government, which is making the people seem like they're the ones in the wrong, as they are showing a lot of footage of what they're doing, but not referring it back to the other side. They are presenting the protesters as antagonists, as at one point they focus on them attacking police officers, but the main thing that is missed out is, the, is that the other side, such as policemen, may have attacked them first, but the report classifies who are the good guys and bad guys through the footage that they film, even if they are wrong. Get the hell out! Access and privacy. Access is the production team having permission to film, while with privacy is people having the human right not to show themselves to society, or that in a documentary there's only a limited amount of information or footage that they're able to share with the audience. When it comes down to privacy, the question is depending on the topic, as does, and it comes down to does the public have the right to know about the certain situation or so. Also in some interviews, the in the VV might not want to sh show their face, but they want to be able to tell their side of the story. So through this, the so through this, their identity is being kept hidden, but they're allowed to share what they need to share without their them coming to harm, depending on the topic. This here is a good example of access and privacy, as the documentary allows to show the audience what it's like for children with mental in illnesses and how they act like within mental institutions. Some things shown in a documentary are the children's behaviour, which which here there is a breach of privacy as it's possible that the presenter or producer didn't ask some of the children directly if they wanted to be filmed. To the audience, this documentary is able to give them an insight to what it's like for children and how they may, and how some may act, which can be sent as a good thing as they are able to gain more knowledge about it, but at the same time it can be sent as a wrong thing to film as there is no clarification of some of the children agreeing to being filmed at certain times. Contract with viewers, making a promise to the viewer that what you are showing is true and not lies. If a person claims that they are filming a factual television show, they need to present this with facts and truth throughout the whole thing. If they, do, if they are not keeping to their word, this will present the production team as being fake and untrustworthy and could damage their future projects if they want to do more factual television. To the audience, they will be, to the audience it will come across that they are being deceived by what they are knowing and they will be given false information which could affect them depending on what the topic is in. On. This here is a good example of contract to the viewer, as this show that features animals and the environment has been going on for many years, and the same presenter David Attenborough has been part of it, which shows that this documentary on animals is trustworthy, as it is providing the audience with the correct information, and also as the show has been running for years, it has included a lot of different types of species and habitats, which shows that this show has kept to its contract.